city of Atlanta, supposedly a progressive city, arrested a trans woman for having cocaine when they knew she did not, called her a homophobic slur, and then decided to keep her in jail for six months until another lab tested the fake cocaine. There was never cocaine. Let's put up a picture of this woman who was brutally assaulted by the criminal justice system. She has now been awarded $1.5 million by federal grand jury. Let's keep a picture up. A federal jury has ordered Atlanta police to pay over a million dollars in compensation to a black trans woman for arresting her over a false drug charge. That's according to the local station WSB TV. A federal jury awarded the black transgender woman from Atlanta $1.5 million after she spent six months in jail for being arrested on fake cocaine charges. All right, so first of all, the money is not enough, okay? Um, There's a backstory here that's extreme. This actually started October 2015. Uh, The young lady's name is Juzima Goldring. Juzima was walking with friends when two city of Atlanta police officers stopped and questioned the entire group. The officers accused Goldring of the extreme crime of jaywalking. A crime that she says never happened. They then arrested her. Now remember, what's the pretext here? Jaywalking. So the cops admitted on the record. Well, we only arrested her for jaywalking. Who the hell gets arrested for jaywalking? You already see the targeting, the bias, the systemic prejudice, right? So they are arresting her for jaywalking. And as she is handcuffed, something else happens. During the arrest, an officer searched Gold Ring's purse and found a stress ball, a basic stress ball. He cut it open. And tested it for cocaine. It wasn't cocaine. It was just the regular stuff inside of a stress ball. Defense attorney said, despite the fact that the test was negative, the officer still charged Ms. Goldring with trafficking cocaine. During the arrest, Goldring's attorney said one of the officers used an anti trans slur, violating the policy of the department. Now, because of Georgia law, This arrest is still on the record of this woman. She has a felony trafficking charge on her record. She has to go through extra judicial remedy and it takes time to get it off. Now, she remained in jail for six months. They knew good and damn well there was no trafficking, there was no cocaine. They misrepresented this from day one. The story gets deeper, even after further test, And those tests revealed she did not have any drugs. She still stayed for six months. Another test by the GBI, Georgia Bureau of Investigations also came back negative. Gold ring was released eventually, but she served six months in jail. They did dismiss the charges. Former Channel 2 anchor Craig Lucy spoke to Gold ring after her release. She told him she was detained in a male jail where she was assaulted. The 1.5 million in compensation comes as a result of a lawsuit she filed against the injustices done to her. Gold Ring's attorney filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city in 2019. Remember this happened in 2015. They filed a lawsuit in 2019. A judge ruled that the Atlanta police will now have to pay Gold Ring 1.5 million. Gold Ring's attorney said she was the victim of police scrutiny based on her identity as a trans woman, all right? The attorney Miguel A. Dominguez highlighted the win for justice, said, and I quote, this case signifies a small but significant victory on behalf of the LGBTQ plus community and other marginalized people here in Atlanta who have been suffering through discriminatory and callous policing by individuals who swear to protect and serve their communities but who under the cover of darkness are indifferent to the consequences to their discriminatory practices on the most vulnerable among us. You know, the city of Atlanta who 
recently had an openly lesbian chief, who has a progressive currently as the mayor, who has members of council who are noted progressives in the city. They defended the case, they took it to trial. They defended the cop, they said the cop was innocent. Now, here's the reality of what we're seeing. It is clear that these cops who are supposed to be investigators, these cops knew that there was no cocaine. They tested it because of their mobile units to test drugs, no cocaine. They then still created a false police report citing that this person has committed a felony, trafficking cocaine, there's no cocaine. One, we have to stand up for our trans sister in this case, she was targeted. This is bigoted behavior, this behavior should have no place in a public arena whatsoever. We are literally funding our own oppression. They are paid by tax dollars, the public is funding it. Here's the other side of the coin that must be discussed. Why are these cops not in handcuffs? They filed a false police report, they lied about what the substance was. They violated the human rights of an individual. Where are they? What's gonna happen to them? Nothing, not a damn thing. And that's why I say corruption is expensive. Democrats, Republicans, independents, non-political people should be on the side of justice because justice is affordable. It's corruption that costs money. So now the city is going to have to pay for the corruption of these cops because they decided to be bigoted to target an individual because that person is different. We have to start adding the humanity back into not only our conversations, but also how we hold others accountable. What happened to this woman lacks humanity. Six months incarcerated for something you never did. Life turned upside down, you have a felony charge on your record and the charge of all things is for trafficking cocaine and you never touched the stuff. Yeah, so Rashad, first of all, I'm gonna get into all the injustices you did, but let's also remember, hey, she got one and a half million dollars. So we got a tiny bit of justice today. We got a tiny bit of justice, okay? So not enough money, Jank, not enough. No, of course not, and I can prove it. Yeah. Uh, so you said that they should, the cops should be in handcuffs and get arrested. Now, of course, for most Americans that grew up on traditional media, they think that's an outrageous thing to say, Rashad. I mean, those are cops that just happen to make a mistake, but you know they didn't make a mistake. You know that the cocaine, uh, that it did not uh, test positive for cocaine twice. They knew right. it wasn't cocaine. It wasn't an honest mistake. It wasn't an honest mistake to pretend that she was jaywalking, right? So. Now, what did they do? They robbed six months of her life. You can't get that back, right? right. So, and all we have is time. Um, and so, um, if they ha if they were not cops and they had run into any person on the street, if you're watching this right now, well, no matter what your political persuasion is, it doesn't matter, or your race or anything, it doesn't matter. Imagine if somebody came up to you on the street, kidnapped you, and put you in a uh, in a dungeon for six months. Well, would you say if you would you agree to that? No, of course not. Would you think that the person who did that to you should be arrested? Of course, they kidnapped me and put me in a, in a cell and I couldn't get out. I mean, it's every kind of crime committed, right? But in our country, we think it's normal for the cops to do that. You know what the, has happened to the cops? Nothing. They're not fired. The uh, police department says they're not going to get fired. No, because they view that as normal. And to Rashad's earlier point. The whole system thought it was normal. Nobody thought, oh, it didn't test positive for cocaine. Wait, wait, why do we even arrest her? Jaywalking? Wait, you arrested somebody for jaywalking? No, everybody thought, oh, you wanted to. It's super obvious you wanted to harass her, so you made up a charge, and then the other charge we know isn't true. Let's keep on going. Let's keep her in jail. Keep her in jail. Everyone agreed. Keep her in jail. Who cares? She's an identity we don't identify with. We don't empathize with. And uh, we want to hurt. So, guys, look. The main thing that I ask our, our audience and everybody else is just try a little empathy, right? So, put yourself in their shoes for just one second. So, for the right wing who say, "Oh, there's no racism, there's no sexism, there's no uh, LG, there's no homophobia, etc." Well, does this look like equal treatment? Does it look like it was justice? 
you know that if it happened to you, that you out of the blue, you didn't even do the small, small thing of jaywalking. Cops come up to you, they harass you. Let's say it's for your political opinions. Let's say it's for whatever. I know you can't imagine if it's based on your race, if you're white, right? Or if you're straight, etc. You can't imagine that it could happen to you. But I'm asking you to imagine because it happens to your fellow Americans. So you got to make a decision. Do you care or don't you care? If you say, hey, that's a human being like me, and I want her to be treated just like me, I want her to be treated with equality and with justice, then you're an American. And we love you for it, and we'll all fix the system together, okay? But if you say, no, I don't care about her, I don't care that she was locked up in a dungeon for six months when she didn't do anything wrong. In fact, I kind of like it. I, she's transgender, it bothers me. I don't want her in the bathrooms, I don't want her competing in sports, and if the cops uh, take away her freedom, I'm just lying about freedom. I don't. I want freedom for me. I want also the freedom to oppress you. But I don't actually want freedom for the rest of you guys. Okay, then that's okay. Just own it. Just own it and go around telling everybody how much you hate America and you hate the idea of equality. And you hate the idea of justice. Then at least there'll be truth and labeling, and we can have an honest conversation. But if you care about any of those things, you have to be rooting for her. Uh, and if you're not, you should ask yourself why not. Um, but thank God we got a little bit of justice today for her. I hope to God that it would prevent others from doing it. The problem is we have qualified immunity. So the cops never, ever, ever feel the consequences of it. And every police department protects every crooked cop till the cows come home. They never, ever punish them. So they're out to free to do it again. And the memo is sent to all the cops. Yeah, the taxpayers paid for it. Who cares? Do it again. There's no consequences. Yeah. Um, qualified immunity, another relic of a racist core uh, that has continued to be applied in very similar ways in modern America. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.